Um, so what is the context for this book? Well, I think I guess was an important aspect that we talked about the episodes as well that we're doing is that there is no context. I mean, we aren't trying to set a context. We don't have a set and setting that we're coming from or into. We just let whatever manifests come out. And something else or some, some energy else is creating its own context. This, this is just manifesting out there. There is no storyline. There's no message. It's just coming out and it does itself. How should other people understand it then? Well, I think just recognize that it's just completely spontaneous. There is no precognition, there's no premeditation. It just comes out of no place. People are amazed that can happen, but it does happen. Without speaking in voices or tongues, it's just coming out of nowhere. Coherent as it is, with no background and no set and setting, no storyline. That is the context, then. That if is you, the context. Like, in other words, if you want to understand this book, use the book to get to that place where things are coming out of the stillness. Exactly. So the stillness is the context. Yeah, and if it has a, a purpose, the purpose would be to get people in the situation to recognize that they can work this way themselves. They, they can feel the energy in the book of spontaneous, you know, speaking coming out and feel it in themselves, <clears throat> they can manifest exactly that same thing. We're not particularly empowered this way. No. Anybody can do this thing. Yeah. They just get out of the way and feel it coming from down here, not up here, and just let wait for it, be present, be patient, and let it come out. And it's astonishing what can happen. And in fact, it's the only way they've ever created anything anyway. Well, and they don't, they don't, they don't, <laughs> because they get this narrative going yeah. simultaneously, <clears throat> but if they watch where their, where their words actually come from, yeah. Where their thoughts come from, where their speech comes from, it comes out of no place all the time anyway. Yeah. It's just recognizing. Ex nihilo. Ex <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> this is what it strikes me that really the book of Genesis is about. Mm -hmm. Is that if you investigate, like you say, okay, I know how this axe is created or I know how like mm. this log was split right, right. but like how does everything come into existence yeah, yeah and if we observe how anything at all comes into existence actually you can see everything. we see that it comes out of the void that's right you know void not exactly the right word but it's coming out of stillness yeah yeah and and the, the whole world comes out of stillness mm -hmm. and the whole world is coming out of stillness continuously mm -hmm. It's not like it just came out of stillness, you know, yeah, for this, X billion no, years ago. Right, it's right. just constantly out emerging of out of stillness. That's what it does. We just look outside. You just look yeah. at nature. You look at nature unfolding. There's yeah. no, yeah. there's no agenda for nature. It just unfolds. It's like the old, the famous Zen poem: "Sitting quietly, doing nothing, spring comes and the grass grows by itself." And the water drips. And the water drips. <laughs> and the snow falls. And the ice melts, or not. It just happens all by itself. Nobody thinking about it. No set and setting. It just is doing what it does. How can we not see that? It's kind of amazing. It is amazing <laughs> that we don't see it. No, we don't. We look right past it. Yeah. But like, like in ourselves, the whole idea of we've talked many times. We don't think up our thoughts. Well, that one is clear. And that is yeah. so. It's the violet phenomenon. Yeah. I mean, your, your daughter, the same thing about. Where your thoughts come from? Where, what, she wants magic. Yeah, she says, I don't believe in magic. What? Well, where do your thoughts come from? Poof. Poof. Yes. <laughs> That's total magic. I know. It come, they come from no place. Here's a, you know, seven-year-old. Yeah, now seven, eight. Now eight. Now eight. Well, when she said it, she was seven, yeah. yeah. She was seven-year-old, she said this. And it's like she recognizes there is magic right here in every thought. But I think that's the, you know, you must become as little children in order to yeah. enter the kingdom because that like overpowering narrative mind isn't quite in full hyperdrive yet right when you're seven or eight years That's old right. it's it hasn't completely narrated who you are That's and who right. you shall be squashed out the magic right and it allows you to turn around and go oh, oh. yeah they yeah. just keep it just coming keeps up, coming don't up. They? there it goes again because <laughs> you can ask people that yeah. in a workshop with them you say yeah. well, okay just watch your next ten thoughts. Yeah. Do you think them up ahead of time? Can you predict your next ten thoughts? Or watch your next thought. Do you yeah. know what it's going to be? 
You don't know. You no, don't have any been, idea. It's really fun, actually, because then it's just so absurd. And this is why people love to write poetry. Right. Because when you wait for the words to emerge, mm -hmm. they're completely surprising. But we are accidental yeah. beings. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah. we are just accidental beings. The stuff just comes out of no place, out of our control. We have no purchase over it. But it's really fun to watch it emerge. It's as beautiful as watching, you know, the, the water drip or the snowfall, oh, wow. because you just watch the thoughts emerge, and instead of identifying with them, you see like, oh, look at that one, you know, that, that one, wildebeest, one. really? Wildebeest, How did that really? come around, yeah. you know? Shopping cart, wildebeest, sees well, it itself take, in a zebra. It takes the energy out of them, too. <laughs> yeah. You recognize they're just yeah. spontaneous manifestations of nothingness. Yeah, they're not you. They're not you at all. Yeah. You can say, well, if it's not me, why am I so worried about this thing? Let Good it, question. Let it, let it go. <laughs> it's not yours. You didn't create it. You don't have to own it. Good. I think we're still rolling. Yeah, we were still rolling good.